So as you guys can see, this is not ideal, trying to cup a spider like this. Okay guys, not ideal rehouse. These guys are super bolty, way boltier than I expected, and we have four more to go. for creepy crawly talk and micro photography and today we have something special because uh, I'm not trying to get any more spiders but if I see something special I'll just go for it. I got my hands on five huntsmen and it was a package deal so I ended up taking all of them. I got two female heteropoda David Bowies so you already probably know that I already have a couple but they probably sack mates so I'm gonna try to these these are two females and I'm gonna try to raise them up and get them ready for the male because the male seems he's mature or close to there is actually a certain species of sun, uh, huntsmen that they would find immature female kind of like a virgin female and they would protect her until she matures and then they would mate with her so I, I found that really fascinating and apparently when you're mating them which is what we're gonna try to do with the bovis certainly uh, you can keep them in their enclosure for a while because they can they can kind of get used to each other and eventually uh, before the mating it's not so dangerous for the male but after the mating the females uh, often eat them so but it, I found it also kind of interesting that they can stay in the enclosure for a decent amount of time for like days sometimes before the females get sick of them so hopefully we can actually save Ziggy from becoming a dinner uh, when we do it because we have another female for him okay so these are two David Bowies then I got my hands on two heteropoda boy, I think it's pronounced, and it's a uh, leeching huntsman, and it's an immature female and immature male. So again, we're gonna probably try uh, to make it in a breeding project. These, I'm not sure if they're segmates. I know that they are captive bred, because lately I've been really double checking everything, making sure that I'm getting like captive bred spiders. Really, unless I'm gonna be part of like some sort of a breeding project, I, I don't really wanna be dragging spiders from nature, no reason. Uh, and the last one is Parilestis variatus. So, alright, so those are my five new huntsmen, or our five new huntsmen. Uh, one quick note on huntsmen, uh, if you are first time watching video about huntsmen, they are super fast, probably some of the fastest spiders. They get really bolty. Four of these huntsmen are tropical species, and I built them kind of like a soon-to-be bio uh, enclosure. I mean, it is already bio, it already has the plant, but I'm hoping that the plant's gonna grow taller. This time I'm using Exoterra for two Two of them? Two of them. Mm -hmm. And um, I removed the bag because I found these bags really ugly. They're trying to make it look natural, but it's really not looking very natural. So I just removed the styrofoam and I added like a, a bit pieces of cork bark. And I found it much more appealing. So this is gonna be for a couple of them. And then I have another enclosure. I'm gonna show you right now that I'm prepared right here. There we go. <laughs> Serving another enclosure from Spider Cafe. So this one I believe is from Herb Cool. I initially bought it for our assassin box, but then it ended up being too big. So then I ended up ordering banana roaches and I thought that I'm gonna have some uh, banana roaches as kind of like a pet slash feeder. And I was like, they're really pretty, so we're gonna put them in it. But then I ended up getting huntsmen, so I had to remove the setup for the <laughs> banana roaches and set it up for the huntsmen right now. So I'm gonna put the, one of the bobies in here because it's gonna be kind of hard to get good pictures of them. And I already have one in an enclosure that is set up for pictures, which is you know, one of the things where I keep uh, getting these spiders. All right, so I think that's like plenty of talking. So because we have five <laughs> rehouses, so I think let's get to it. If you guys wanna know a little bit more about the Ether Heteropoda David Bowie spiders, we already made video on them, so go check it out. All right, so let's get to it. Okay guys, so here you see in the tub I have some leaves and you know just some cork bark in case one of them decides to bolt i want to give them like a space to hide immediately down here rather than bolting over here into our apartment and like i said these guys are super fast and they had kind of small space for a while so the crazy thing about the boy is that he actually was has been sticking his head in the substrate i think either he wants more humidity more water or he just doesn't like the light so I'm gonna try to remove these and if you guys watch our Bowie video you kind of know that these guys can get 
by T2, by accident, not because they mean. So let's see if he actually is here. Oh, I see him down there. Maybe, maybe you wanna get him and I actually try to get some uh, photos of him. Oh my gosh, this camouflage is so good. I was like, <laughs> didn't even see you. Alright guys, so we got his footage, so we don't really need to even do anything and try to get him out. We're just gonna get him into his new enclosure by basically getting him here and I'll try gently. And I don't know if you can see how quick he is. Oh, and he thinks it's a foot. Is it in? Oh no, he's out. Sorry, I'm the lefty. Go up, up, up. Mm -hmm. That's how fast he is, and this is why we have this here. So we're gonna have to probably cut him. Yeah, he did what we wanted him to do, he didn't bolt out of there. Which is good. Let's hope he doesn't do it now. So he might be underneath of the enclosure already. So as you guys can see, this is not ideal, trying to cup a spider like this. Okay guys, not ideal rehouse. These guys are super bolty, way boltier than I expected. And we have four more to go. And we still don't have him in the enclosure. So we got him cupped, but this bin has been essential today, essential. Without it, the spider would be already somewhere here. So having few leaves there, you know, also really help. So let's see if we can just... There we go, there you go. There we go, so. Uh, Myanmar, would you actually okay. hold this? So, let's see if we get lucky like this. And I'm just gonna close it. I'm gonna close it and you do it on your own. There you go. Alright, boom. One hand spent. Almost rehoused. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so, that was a tough one. So, now we're gonna do the female. But... I really want to get some pictures of her, but I have it kind of set up where I could be, uh, see her from time to time and be able to take some pictures. And I think I'm just going to wait for that because I really don't want one of them running around. So we're basically going to take her enclosure as is and just going to put it in the new enclosure and she can come out whenever she wants to. And in the other one, it actually was not possible. And in the next few, it's also not possible. So it's going to get interesting tonight. Show her a little bit. You can see she's like right here. Her camp, which is also really crazy. Yeah, it really is. I wonder if she would let me pick up the cork bark and put it in. So let's try it in. Number two. 
pretty happy about this one, can't, can't lie. This was the one that I was afraid of the most. The next we have Bowies and the third Huntsman is kind of small. So I'm hoping that they just can cover that much distance. These two are pretty big, really leggy. So they can cover like a lot of distance. I've seen in some videos they just like bolting out, getting behind TVs and just something I really don't want to deal on Sunday evening. So there we go, number two. So now we're gonna go to the Bowies and I'm probably just gonna use the same strategy. Um, sorry if we don't do many jump scares or anything like that, but I'm just trying to basically do the care. Uh, not for clicks, but kind of for like, you know, how to do it properly, because uh, there were some channels that I followed first, and I was watching kind of what I would now call kind of like an improper care, kind of something that you do for likes, and uh, I thought that's kind of how you have to do it. You know, the spider's gonna be running all over your place, you're gonna be catching them and doing things with, you know, one hands and stuff like that. It doesn't have to be that way. I kind of mature from those channels to those uh, other channels that are more proper, and I keep mentioning Dave Beasties, Dave Little Beasties, love that guy, really cool, uh, really, it's just practical stuff, you know, and educational. So, you know, that's just my little rant about, you know, what we're trying to do too. So, let's move one of these ladies. So, which one do you feel like is bigger? I feel like this one is bigger. Wow, yeah, that one's huge, yeah. Bigger, yeah? Yeah. All right, so <laughs> we're not gonna get crazy with this. We're just gonna open it, put it in there, and another house done. Because <laughs> I had enough spiders running around this tub for one day, and we already have their pictures. And this is probably gonna be the female that we're gonna try to pair up. Some people have problems with these guys being like super fast, and yes, they are. But I haven't had them as bolty as the boy that you guys just saw. So, you know, I guess just the luck. So let's just put her in as is and she can decide to come out on her own. Now we have two rehouses that are gonna go in small enclosures so we might have to motivate the spiders to get in. So that's not gonna be fun. They are in kind of small enclosures and also these the deli cups are they, are they are sufficient. But they're really hard to open for me because they, you're constantly bending them every time you're taking the lid off. And so I'm just gonna put them in something that has way better ventilation as well. And this girl, it's, it's probably gonna be her forever enclosure. Uh, Alright guys, so I'm actually gonna miss this little bit too because all of these guys like it really humid all except for the last one like it really humid so this is the one that we're gonna have to get out of there so not looking forward to it she's sitting on the cork bark right yeah so as you guys probably seen in our videos these guys are super nippy so i definitely don't want to get bit by one See, she thinks it's food. There you go, go in there, cool. So that really worked out for us, guys. Can you see her nicely? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna close it, yeah? Yeah. And she's in Big Fat Fits uh, enclosure. And these are, um, jumping spider condos. Barilestis, Bariados, and we'll try to take out the leaves and hope that he's gonna stay on it, basically. Put it in his new home. They hate light. Last night, I usually come out at night and check the check all the spiders. I actually do it several times a night, just because I love doing it, because you always see them in action. And I have a, like a little litter torch, a little lamp that I was like talking about before, you know, these are pretty awesome. None of them really hide, the tarantulas are half blind, so they don't really see the light as well. You know, they kind of recognize it, but it's not as bad. But this guy would hide immediately. The, the, the moment I put the light on him, boom, he was hidden. So let's see how the rehouse goes. And because they don't get uh, too big, this is probably gonna be his forever home. So let's see, hopefully he's gonna stay on the leaf. 
and we get lucky. Oh wow, well this is gonna be a photo opportunity. So for this guy, we have a Jamie Tarantula enclosure. All right, let's put him in. You enjoy your new casa. And tonight we'll see you explore. Alright guys, so number five is in. So as you see, huntsmen are really bolty, really fast, but if you're careful, one out of five. Not too bad, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm pretty happy. And again, don't use your fingers when, when working with them. It's really good to have catch cup ready, uh, but try not to even rely on the catch cup because their speed is so fast. Another thing, I would use bin, big bin like this one, because as you saw, he didn't even try to climb it up, and you know, put some hiding places in the bin so they have somewhere to bolt to. Okay, guys, let me just remind you: we're doing the thousand subscribers T-shirt giveaway. We're almost there. We need around ninety something more. And uh, so if this is your first time on our channel, please remember to subscribe and watch our videos till the end because once we get the thousand subscribers, we're gonna put a little announcement at the end of our videos and you can win one of these t-shirts or any one of uh, our designs that you can check out at spidercafe.shop. So go check it out and see if there's anything you like. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notifications button and I'll see you in the next video. Alright, ciao!